Hi guys, welcome. So this is actually my first official review. I'm going to be reviewing two Bluetooth speakers, the two that I actually was speaking from. One is JBL Extreme and the second one is UE Megaboom. Now here's a little background on what I'm trying to do. I'm doing some audio upgrades for myself. Well, I'm not necessarily an audio expert, but I'm just a regular consumer who likes nice sound. And basically I sold my 5.1 Logitech surround sound system, which I had for many years. I believe like eight years, it was a computer surround sound system. So I've seen somebody doing my whole room, my office room. I decided to go with something without any wires, you know, and it was 10 years old. So I decided to go with something Bluetooth. So I narrowed it down to JBL Extreme and U Megaboom. What I was looking for, I was looking for one speaker, which would be relatively loud. I also was looking for good quality sound. And I wanted it to be not necessarily waterproof, but water resistant. You know, I wanted it to be portable so I can, without any hassle, be able to transfer from room to room. Maybe if I'm cooking something in the kitchen, so I can bring it to the kitchen or somewhere outside, you know, to a barbecue. So that's basically the categories that I was researching. And I narrowed it down upon my review to these two speakers. I'm going to give you my honest review because I did play around with these two speakers for the past two days and I'm actually going to keep only one of them. Initially I bought a UE Megaboom and you know because I saw it in the store it looked great it has a great feel to it. JBL Extreme is something I also read about as well. Like I said I had about two days playing around with them so let's take a look. Here is JBL Extreme. The box is nice pretty solid. Okay so as you guys can see it's advertising 15 hours of playtime now another cool thing about this this has dual usb charge out what this means is that i can actually plug in two usb devices and charge them so let's say two cell phones uh maybe a video camera you know a photo camera so basically two usb devices and it's also a speaker phone now as you can see it's also splash proof which means it's not waterproof it's water resistant so that's the box okay by the way the box has like a really cool feel to it Let's take a look at the U Mega Boom box. Now this actually the design is pretty cool. You know, it's like a cylinder with a little handle. Now it comes in, I believe, in five different colors. So this is the color that I actually liked. You know, I like darker colors. So this is like black, gray with blue. Okay. Now the U Mega Boom that I got, this is all black. Uh, I believe there's also a red one and also a blue one. So I wanted, to, you know, I like darker colors, so I went with black. So here are the boxes in comparison. You know, as you can see, this is kind of sleeker. This is a little larger. Uh, this is also a larger speaker. All right, now that we have these two guys back to back, let's go ahead and see what's in the box. All right, so here's the two speakers. You know, I unboxed them. JBL one. You know, it's it's you can feel the weight. You know, that's the JBL one, as you can see. All right, so it has a little pocket right here. Okay. And in this pocket, basically, once you unzip it, this is where all the connectors are. So the two USBs, the power cable, the auxiliary. Okay, uh, feel solid, feel solid. You know, it's not too light. This is the subwoofer number one, subwoofer number two. It looks and feels really sturdy. Feels the quality. All right. So it does have a little weight to it. You know, it has the buttons on top right here this is water resistant so you know if some water gets on top of it it's okay they actually advise you that if you spill something on it that's not a problem also if you want to clean it you could just splash some water on top of it and it's gonna be fine now see just zip it up and you should be all safe all right. actually this is exactly where you mount it so what you have to do is just put it down you're ready to go now UE Megaboom as you guys can see, you know, it's significantly smaller, okay? So you think it's significantly smaller. Actually, I can comfortably hold this in one hand. JBL, uh, not really, you know what I mean? You got to hold this in two hands. But this, very easy, hold it in one hand. Now, um, also, the design feels really solid. You know, this is, in both of them, they have the same kind of cloth material. Very solid um, rubber. You know, this is to adjust the volume up and down. Where the volume adjustment here 
on GBL is these two buttons right here. Now, so I guess you can tie like if you want to hang this with your tree or just anywhere, hang it off anything, all you gotta do is just tie some kind of a cord and that's fine. Now, what do I have here? Ah, okay. So this is auxiliary. Ah, okay. And this is USB. Now USB is to be able to charge it. So I'm gonna actually touch up on this in a second. Um, this is the on and off. So this is how to turn the unit on. And this button is basically to pair it up with another Bluetooth device. So, I mean, right off the bat, I can tell you one thing. That if you're looking for a speaker, purely for outside purposes, something you can just carry with you, throw it in your backpack, or maybe, you know, you, know, you can actually fit this in your bicycle in the water bottle holder. So if you're looking for something to just take with you, whatever you go, on the go, you don't want you want you don't want it to be too heavy, and you just want to be able to bring it with you anywhere. Throw it in the sand, and um, you know if you're doing bike riding, anything like that. I mean, just purely by design and the size. I mean, this is the way to go. That's a no-brainer because I mean this is definitely the way to go, and this is 100% submergible in water. So this one is water resistant. This one is waterproof. You can actually submerge it, I think, three meters directly underwater. If you're looking for something on the go, just, I'm talking purely, purely, just by the feel of it and by the weight and by the size, this is the way to go. Now, this speaker, two hands, it feels fine. This is not something, you know, it's not too comfortable to carry one hand. However, however, what JBL did, which is really cool, they provide you with a strap. So, this trap is actually pretty cool, you know, played around with it. Um, like I said, because one thing is I am looking for something that's portable. So here, let's drop it on like this. Let's drop it on like that. So, so basically what you can do is you can throw this around your shoulder, you can throw this over a branch of a tree, anything. You know, you can hang the speaker. Now, with this trap, it's a lot more comfortable. It's fine, it's not that big of a deal. But as far as you know, purely, purely size, if you're looking for something that you just want to carry around with you effortlessly, you know, this is the way to go. However, if you don't mind something that, you know, holds a little more weight, you can still bring this around with you. Just throw it over your shoulder, put it in your book bag. Just be aware that this is larger. So there's a reason why this is, you know, almost double the size. This is as far as physical features go, of both units. Now, UV comes with this nice bright charger. Now, as you can see, this is also a USB charger. I mean, I personally think USB is definitely the way to go. It doesn't limit you to anything. It's light, very thin, you know, it's basically very easy to take with you anywhere you go. You know, all you can do is just take this cord, you know, you're in your vehicle, you know, you need to charge it, just plug it in. Anywhere you go, you can basically plug it in. Your computer, anywhere. So that's awesome. So that's a really big plus. That you can just use this USB charger. Alright? Now this is for the UE. Now, JBL uses a standard AC charger. Okay? So basically, if you need to charge it up, you need to charge it up at home with the you know, AC outlet or, um, you know, if you're in the vehicle, you can get the car adapter and charge it up that way, but it's not a USB. If you're always on a go, USB is definitely a way to go. It's a lot more convenient. For me, it was not a deal breaker. I mean, I do think that USB, you know, is definitely, you know, easier, lighter, and it's just more convenient. However, I'm getting the speaker for the sound. So as far as convenience, this definitely makes it better, but it's not a deal breaker, but it's something to consider. So next, let's go ahead and test them out. Let's go ahead and play some music. So now we're gonna turn this unit on, JBL. I'm gonna go over the first. Okay. All right, so we heard the sound. I got it paired up with my MacBook Pro. Okay, perfect, the signal is there, you heard the sound, let's go.
let's go ahead and pair it up now with UV. All right. and as you can tell I mean hands down I mean this is no competition sound wise GBL hands down the mids the highs the bass I mean GBL just has this livier sound you know it fills the room you feel the bass you feel like I said the highs the mids very very well mega boom I'm not gonna say the sound is bad it's not bad no the sound is good Basically what happened is this, when I, f I first I actually bought the Mega Boom, just Mega Boom by itself sounds great, sounds fantastic. And then once I actually put Mega Boom next to JBL, then you can actually hear the main, the major differences, you know. When Mega Boom is by itself, when you don't hear JBL, it's fine. But once you put a JBL right next to it, you know, you feel a major, major difference. Now. If you guys remember in the beginning of the review when I was going over just the size, the functionality, things like that, I told you that Mega Boom, you know, it's smaller, it's more portable, it's easier to carry. And, you know, JBL is a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. So this is basically the main reason why. Yes, it's a little bigger. Yes, it's a little bit heavier. But the reason is because it has this amazing, amazing sound quality. For me personally, I'm going with a JBL because I'm looking for something that's portable. I'm looking for something that I can enjoy at home. You know, whether it's playing a video game or just watching some movies, uh, listening to music. I mean, this is going to be great at home. And at the same time, I know that I can just put the strap around it and just throw it over my shoulder, just bring it with me on a bicycle, anywhere. And this is the winner for me. Based on testing that I did, this is the product that I'll be going with. So Mega Boom, sorry. Now listen, again, I don't think Mega Boom is a bad product. It's not. If you get the Mega Boom and you don't compare it to JBL, Mega Boom is fantastic. But once you put this near the JBL, I mean, it's just the difference is very noticeable. However, if you're somebody who already has an excellent speaker at home and you just want something small, relatively small, I mean, it's not that small, but relatively small portable, 
that you can just bring with you anywhere to the beach and you don't care about, you know, having this extra bass. You just want a good sounding speaker, loud speaker. I mean, they're both really loud. Uh, go with Megaball. But if you want somebody who wants a speaker, you know, with great sound quality, and you want it to be played at home, you also want to be able to carry places, I mean, definitely JBL. But if you want something that's on the go, go with a Mega Boom because, like I said, it's waterproof completely. You can submerge it in water. USB charger. USB charger is just so much, it's so convenient, it's light. So USB charger and, of course, the size. I mean, the design itself is excellent. 20 hours of battery life. Basically, it's an awesome portable speaker. It does sacrifice some quality for the design. Now... As far as the JBL, which is a winner to me, the setbacks for me was the charger, that it's not a USB, but it's okay. And then the sound quality. I mean, the sound quality is the reason why I wanted to get the speaker. I wanted to get a speaker with a great sound quality, and this one definitely does it. I mean, the sound quality just makes up for, you know, the lack of USB, and maybe, you know, it being a little bigger. So this is what I'm going with, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Leave your comments below the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Take care. Bye.